Whatever, you know. That's also what she said. How about if you want? Except I wouldn't say that. When your arm gets tired, use the other one. Uh, yes, yes. I need ambidextrous stuff going on here. You didn't tell me you were a dirty girl. <laughs> I'm usually only a dirty girl behind closed doors. You're, you caught me in a moment. Sheesh. I'm blushing. Let all you know. All right. Wipe your face. That's what she did as well. <laughs> and now this is on video. <laughs> it is. It's true. <laughs> this is a poetry reading. So if you have a political statement to make, by all means, use this stage to say what you mean. All I ask is that you mean what you say and that you say it from your heart. Not with book knowledge quoting your college professor. Profess your feelings. Do not be we earthlings for the wrongdoings of some man that we poets can never name or give a positive identification of. Mm. Who really should we blame when everything remains the same? Do we just want to keep it this way because we feel safe in our place? This is a poetry reading where free domes of speech preach, teach, and reach, breaching barriers, message carriers, but sometimes the pigeon's wings are weak. Whether dove be black or white, she still flies. She still flies because her eyes take her there. Her heart takes her there. It's not her wings, it's what she believes. But this is just a poetry reading. And I am just a reluctant word warrior because honestly, I'm tired of the fight. I'm tired of hearing what the system is doing to fuck up the flow because every morn we all get up and go. We get up and go following the clock more precise than we follow our own religions or is the clock our new religion? Well, this is just a poetry reading. So these so-called convictions are sometimes fiction that cause friction, causing static to this poetic broadcast station. We interrupt this program to bring you this urgent message. Uh. This is just a poetry reading. Hmm. And we are left stationary. Nary a thought of correction comes into connection. United, we divide everything by sex, class, complexion. Right. This be a pride that migrates wide across borders of time taking in stride how it all flies by. A poet's eyes smile at this wilderness. Lips smell scents of ancestors' stories. Ears speak eons of truth and lies. Fingers never come to grips to realize the divide. And the nose knows nothing but breath in life and death. And the heart still beats through carry-on's caress. But this is just a poetry reading where applause is granted, views are slanted, seeds are planted but rarely fertilized because nobody really wants to dig up all this shit and nobody wants to hold themselves accountable for it. We just want to spit the freshest flow, be the one in all the know, capture all the glow, find someone to go home with. Home with us? Home with us? It's like an alternate state of consciousness where nothing is ever quite stable except for the writing table. And so it is we who bring dreams into awakening. And in each poem, there is a fragment of our own lives that hides behind rhymes. Half of us broken by the battle, the other shattered by the need to get it out, no matter what the cost. Secretly, I wish that someone knew exactly how I feel. Then maybe I wouldn't feel so crazy. And since I'm telling you secrets, I can tell you that I'm still not used to this skin I'm in. Seems such a burden to carry. I wish to unzip it and slide out to erase complications. I'm tired of the facts, ma'am, just the facts. I want to hear stacks upon stacks of poems that hide in the back of notebooks and heads. I want to know the battle you fought just to realize that you are angry. And I want to know what you're going to do about it. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? I want you to tell me never censoring sound waves for my sake, but at the same time, critically thinking about every word you say. But this is just a poetry reading, so maybe I'm asking for too much. See, I want to be able to tell you so much that when I walk off this stage, I'm embarrassed to talk to you because now you know me too well. I don't want, you to, I don't want to hear what you heard the last poet say. I want to know the struggle, the monotony, and the joy of your day, and for us to be amazed at how well we can relate. I want you to hold me accountable for my words and actions, never judging me or telling me that I'm wrong, but teaching me the words to the song when I can't follow along. I want you to know 
that when I close my eyes while reciting, it's not because I don't want to see you. It's because I'm trying to really see you. It's because when I write, it's my heaven and I'm learning how to fly. And I'm just trying to tell you what it's like. But I know, this is just a poetry reading. Oh.